parameters that um, we're very aware of is the form itself. Yeah. And um, the form is a vessel. Yeah. And for us, if it's immersed, we feel it is universal. It goes beyond the form. And we are very fortunate, both of us, to have seen and witnessed and experienced other artists mm. who have gone beyond the form where you forget that the flamenco dancer is actually doing flamenco, yeah. even though it's flamenco. Yeah. It goes beyond that. And that was our entire aim. Use your form, but it's not the form that you are showing. It's how deep you work within yeah. the form. Yeah where it reaches a place where you go, that's not any more specific, it is universal. Yep. I think we both came to a place of really feeling a sense of responsibility yeah. as well, in terms of if uh, the two of us as, as um, senior artists, if you like, were in a position to guide in some way, because at the same time we have always said it's not completely our jobs. <laughs> you know, we have our own responsibility to our, yeah. to our own art. But there does come a, a time when you feel a sense of duty to a new generation of artists. How do we support and guide them into a particular direction of working that is best going to help them um, develop a particular sense of intelligence into A, uh, uh, working with their practice as Indian classical dancers, having a conviction with their form, um, and then being able to apply that into a rigor and a practice that can sustain them through a journey professionally in this case. Each session has been so impactful, but it's also been so rigorous and tedious. Every minute we're constantly like challenged and failing and deepening and you know, it's like, it's like tiny grains of sand that are being like stacked up. So it's such a so, slow and languorous process, but I think for me that's been very um, challenging, but also extremely inspiring um, and to really like push out everything else and just be present. This kind of immersion, I like the word immersion rather than surrender because I, I know that my ego is not non-existent and surrender requires that sense of non-existence of ego. So I like to use the word immersion. And they, I think this kind of immersion and, and detailing every little bit is there's an intention. It's not, oh, we just do it, or we've learned it, or we do it well, or we just turn, or we just stamp. No, there's a reason, and there's an intention, and there's a depth to it, which has been fascinating. I, I really like being pushed. And, and we try to push ourselves when we're in our own practice, and, um, both Maven and Akram have said this, that, I mean, it's a very solo practice. Um, no, whether you're choreographing on people or on yourself, it, it is very lonely, and you can push yourself only so far. And so I think having class, doing new rep, that is completely outside of my comfort zone, but also understanding the process that goes into that choreography has been really intense. Both Maven and Akram have been telling us in the different sessions, so whether it's with our classical technique of how we need to really um, hold on to that and to push with rigor and how can we take responsibility of our own um, voice in Indian classical dance but then also in different aspects of it whether it's a binaya, more expressional um, part of uh, dance how can you go deeper in that and how can you build a greater narrative within the Indian classical dance form itself so that you've got a clear intention of why you're doing something and it's not just because someone's taught you or because um, it's traditionally done in a certain way. Coming here and listening to people talk has really validated what I was doing in a way and really like given me 
a way to keep going uh, in the sense that, like I said, it gave us the words. Like it, it's describing what I'm doing or what I want to do. And it doesn't sound crazy anymore, you know? Um, so I think that articulation of what my goals are has really been, really been eye-opening for me. I think what's very um, particular with Akram and I, which is why our relationship is very, very deep, I think, is that we both share a, a truly a, a great sense of belief in rigor and in um, an immersion into something uh, of the unknown, which we don't know what the answer is. So the conviction to immerse and just trust that through that rigor over a period of time, something will reveal itself. We have both shared this, I think, from the time that we first met. Rigor and the, I mean, rigor is just kind of a buzzword right now for all of us because it's, it's so intense and so um, unyielding. And I think that's amazing to see because you always think you're working hard and then somebody's working harder. So to keep pushing and pushing and pushing to your limits, um, I think is something that I will definitely take back. And also I think to allow myself to really immerse myself in what I'm doing and to really believe it. Because it's easy to believe like a story of something, but it's not easy to actually embody it and take it on like it's yours. And I think that's a really, really hard process. And um, I'm hoping to like try that. And I'm sure I'm gonna fail, but I'm gonna keep on trying. And I think that perseverance is something that I'll also take back. The process element has been very crucial that we're not here to teach either a piece of repertoire that they take away with. Uh, we're not here to give them a formula really that that is uh, that can be used by everyone but we're just sharing with them really the 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 manner in which we approach work from a process perspective and hopefully with that that their eyes open up into possibilities because the experiential element is spirituality it lies in spirituality yeah. at a certain point it becomes spiritual and in a sense indian classical dancers it's part of their culture. Mm. It's a part of uh, the myths that we study. Yeah. You know, the first thing uh, I was taught in class was not the steps, but was to do pranam, touch the floor, touch your guru's feet, say thank you to this space, which is like a temple. So just by acknowledging the space being a temple, you're in a different space. Yeah. <laughs>